The kind-hearted Camelot was charmed uh, with the spirit and propriety of Perdita's behavior. Now, Camelot was the courtier of Pelagzan. He was quite impressed with the spirit and the behavior of Perdita. And perceiving that the young prince was too deeply in love to give up his mistress at the command of his royal father, he thought of a way to befriend the lovers and at the same time to execute a favorite scheme he had in his mind. So when he observed um, the situation, he at once uh, decided that um, he would help uh, Prince Florizel and uh, Princess uh, Perdita. Camillo had long known that Leonte, the king of Sicily, um, was become a true uh, penitent. Um, now, um, throughout this period, um, uh, King Leonte of Sicily, he had transformed. So Camillo knew this thing. He knew that King Leonte was changed and now he had become a, a true penitent. Now he was very regretful upon his uh, past behavior. And though Camelot was now the favored friend of King Pelagzin, he could not help wishing once more to see his late royal master and his native home. So as um, King Pelagzin was also the previous uh, master and the favored uh, friend of Camelot, so Camelot thought that um, he should go and meet his um, old master and uh, friend and he should visit his native home once again. He uh, therefore proposed to Florizel and Perdita that uh, they should accompany him to the Sicilian court. So what plan he made, he talked to um, Prince uh, Florizel and Perdita that all of them, uh, they should go to the Sicilian court. Uh, where they would engage that Leonte should protect them. They they will go over there and they will request King Leonte to uh, give them protection till uh, through his mediation they could obtain pardon from Pulexin and his consent to their marriage. <laughs>